What up, y'all? I'm back with another review, and I'm here to review the newest collaborative studio album from Quelle Chris and Chris Keys entitled Innocent Country 2. This is the second installment of the Innocent Country series, which started back when they released Innocent Country back in July of 2015. Um, yeah, Quelle Chris has been one of my favorite artists for the last three years now. That, uh, what was the project? Being You is great. I wish I could be you more often. Really enjoyed that project. Then in 2018, he dropped Everything's Fine with his wife, Jean Grey, which is very critically acclaimed, which I still need to go back and listen to because <clears throat> I want to like that album more than I do because I know it's great, but for some reason it's not clicking with me the same way that it is with everybody else. Then 2019, he dropped, quote, uh, he dropped Guns, which was my third favorite project of 2019 so he's been more than consistent and i was really excited to hear this project and get some more chris keys uh production flowing through my ears and let's go ahead and get right into this the first track is the intro slash recap i just really love the cinematic vibe that this brings to the album and at least in the start uh, it's just a recap of season one of of innocent country then the second track is outro slash honest which i guess would be the season one finale uh of innocent country which that's going to make it really interesting going back to listen to innocent country and see how cohesive that is with uh the beginning of uh innocent country 2. Fe this is uh featuring marcella arguello I believe that's how you pronounce it. I can't read my own handwriting sometimes. Very smooth beat. Um, <laughs> Quelle is rapping about this girl that switched up on him and how, um, like, her children call him daddy now, but she tells them to stop doing that. And I, it just seems like she's being real petty, but uh, she left a very belligerent ass voicemail on this. On this phone. <laughs> Um, I felt when she said, though, you're posting stupid ass opinions on Twitter. Like, I felt that. I felt that. Like, <laughs> you know. Um, and towards the end of it, like, she would, uh, there was a voice mother that said, well, the part of the voice mother that said, well, the answering machine that said, you have zero new messages and zero time left. Please hold as the old you dies. Um, and please record the message for the new you. And that's when Innocent Country 2 begins. Um, and she says, Innocent Country 2 begins now. Thank you for choosing life. It kind of reminds me of the Midnight Marauders skit with uh, Trap Call Quest. Track number three, Living Happy, the single to promote this project. One of two, I want to say. Featuring Joseph Chill Chilliams and Cavalier. Shout out to Joseph Chilliams. Dude is funny as hell. Um, I remember getting into him on, I think it was West Side Story, off of Saba's bucket list project um but yeah just looking back at the old days back when he was living broke when he was feeling good and work was kind of play and even th with all that like he wouldn't change anything about it and um he said his uncle said to live happy you just gotta let your feelings go and what's this quote right here um for when the white black ratios look like dominoes Quelle said that it was it was part of a full lyric, but um, a part of the verse. But I I chopped that up into that part. Um, and Chilliams is just smooth on the beat. He's just focused on con to, mm, continuing to build. And Cav, of course, is cool too. Just a real feel good track, honestly. The next track, Sacred Safe, featuring Meryl Garbus, Cavalier, and Homeboy Sandman. Um. Just, uh, honestly, this is about finding comfort in personal pain and just, um, well, in, per in your personal space um, of the pain that you're experiencing. And what do you say? I'm just a sculpture getting shaped by mistakes I made. I was like, oh, shit. And I can't lose when your track record, oh, you can't lose when your track record is zero, zero. That's what, uh, that's what Quelle said. Uh it was a nice, it was a nice track as well. Horizon, which is probably my least favorite track on here, but then again, going back and listening to it, maybe not. Um, what did he say? What I really felt about this track is when Quelle said, "They ain't really let me in; they just left the gate open." 
that's me. Like that's my main uh, point of entry into anything. Nobody lets me in. I just the gates open and I some I sometimes walk in or slip through the cracks. The next track, moments. Very inspirational cinematic skit. It's like forty something seconds long. Just talking about the mistakes, like you can make the new ones or you can make the same ones and choose to learn from them or not. You're going to make mistakes anyway. And um, But this moment right now can be used to do something new and just saying like, just do it. You can do it. The next track, Bottle Black Power by The Business. This goes hard. I mean, it's a, like a bit of a banger. It reminds me of Mind Your Business or Obamacare from Guns last year. Very um, conscious pro-black subjects. Uh, you, you ain't trying, what is it? Um, you ain't trying to make it up. You just trying to witness. Motherfuckers ain't bad about it. They just trying to witness. And what's this? If, um, if I don't make it rich, then I'm making my bitch. Niggas trying to battle black power by the business. Like, just, the flow was really nice. And with this, like I said, hard hitting banger, um, bit of a banger beat, it was just really fun to listen to. Now, okay, here we go. Yes. The next track, Grease from the Elbows. The chorus seems a bit off, like off key, but it fits still. Um, now this is also featuring Pink Sifu, Sifu? <sighs> and Billy Woods. Uh, what did Quelle Chris say? <laughs> um, another cool track. But at the end, this girl, you know, this guy talking to this girl, he's saying like, yo, be happy, smile, like when um, I can make black women, like when they smile, they laugh, and I could be a part of that. And he asked her, like, have you ever heard of Quelle Chris? And she said, no, that's some, <laughs> that's some old made up nonsense. And he was like, oh, okay, you, uh, you behind the times. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> track number nine, I believe that's track number nine, but the next track. I'm going to talk about Black Twitter featuring Mose L and Nelson Mandela. Just black, 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 black. Black is beautiful. Um, it's more than a skin color. It's what you are inside. It's what things come out from. To get to the light, you have to come out of darkness in the first place. You have to come out of the black. So it's like just black, black, black. Really nice track, though. Really enjoyed this. The next track, Ritual, which is pretty cohesive with coming off of Black Twitter. It's just bliss. Like black is everything. Black is all. It's a it's a bit of a meditation, like a black spiritual conscious meditation <clears throat> uh, for yourself, for your ancestors, and of course where you come from and everything. Really enjoyed this. Track number eleven, sudden death. I just really love how soulful this beat gets. Another quality track on this quality album so far. Um, track number twelve, make it better, featuring uh, Star Busby. What I love most about this track, honestly, is the outro, which I don't find myself saying a lot about a lot of tracks that I hear from, like the artists that I listen to. It tends to be the whole, it tends to be the track itself, and the outro is just <clears throat> it just goes along with the course of the song. But with this, the outro really just brings it home here. Check number 13, a uh, graphic bleed out featuring Meryl Garbus, Melanie St. Charles, and Melanie St. Charles. Okay. <clears throat> oh, graphic bleed outs. I, I feel like I said outset or offset. This is just a track about belief, grief, mass info, sources and resources to use, receive, and uh, get it out there. It's just one of those tracks where it's like things become toxic or they can be overwhelming and become too much which is which is relatable uh, living in this age check number 14 mirage fe the second single to promote this project oh actually i want to say it might have been the might have been the first no it was the second i think it was the second mirage featuring earl sweatshirt denmark bessie merle garbus and big sin just got all the fucking heavy hitters on this one and with this track like uh, make it better the outro, send speech, just really brings it home. Like just saying, like these are challenging, un these are challenging, interesting, never seen before times, and um, but just keep going. But be wise and kind of take a little caution, but don't take it too slow though.
and get left behind. Really, really enjoyed this track. Track number 15, When You Fall, featuring Nappy Nina, Fresh Daily, and I'm going to say it's Phil. It's 5-I-L-L, so I'm going to go with Phil or 5-L maybe. Um, again, like just get up, keep going, keep showing up. Um, taking the third way can feel lonely, unfulfilling, but when you fall back, just know we got your back. Really enjoy a track like this. Uh, and it's a track about growth as well. And the last track, FIFO Asa slash credits. It's cool. It could have been left off. It doesn't add or take away to the album at all. Um, but it's the last track on the album. Um, and what can I say, man? Another quality project with Quelly Chris's name attached to it. I'm liking this probably more than I liked uh, Being You Is Great. I wish I could be you more often, even though my favorite track by Quelly Chris probably one one or two. It's number one or number two ever. My favorite track from him ever is um, Birthdays off of Being You Is Great. I wish I could be you more often. But I'm enjoying this overall more than that album. It doesn't matter that it's a collaborative or if it was just a solo. It, I just like it more. Uh, but it's not Top and Guns for me because Guns is just, <laughs> just freaking amazing. Um, to summarize this album, though, before I give my rating, this got away from what I thought might be the main cinematic theme for the whole album. Uh, but I don't mind that, though. Pretty good features, beautiful beats. I love the subjects. I would have liked Open Mike Eagle or Gene Gray feature, but that's still fine. Overall, really enjoying this project. Another, like I said, another quality project with Quelle Chris's name on it, his name attached to it and everything. And the features from the guys you would expect. I, waiting on that Quelle Chris X, well, Quelle Chris and Earl Sweatshirt collab. Is that is going to be the shit, boy. Oh, that's going to be the shit. But I give this a 7.5 to a 7.75 out of 10. If you've heard this project, please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below and what you think about my review on it. If you haven't heard it, I definitely recommend that you, definitely recommend that you check it out. Then come back, let me know what you think about it and what you think about my review on it. And that's pretty much it. Be sure to hit the like button if you like this review. Share the review. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and like the content that you see. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. I think I said that. I've been getting confused because I just go with it. Like saying all this comes so naturally. It's like I'm on autopilot. So um, one more time. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Check the description. There are links in there that um, take you to my Twitter, Facebook. You see my PSN name. We can hop on the PlayStation and play some games if you want to. Or if you just want to bullshit and talk about music, we can do that too. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. 7.5 to 7.5, 7.75. Thank you, Quale, for another quality project. Thank you, Mellow Music Group, for just being my favorite label for the past four years. And, yeah, I will see all, all of y'all next time.